Okay, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to work on um, a technique uh, multiplying using lines. I've seen this uh, described as a Chinese method, a Japanese method, even an ancient Arabic method of multiplication. So um, let's jump right in. I kind of see this as straddling somewhere between a math trick and a viable method. Okay, so let's go. Let's start with a fairly easy one, 12 times 12, and um, let's get started. Step one is you start at the tens and you draw one line because you only have one. You then draw, spread it out a little bit, draw two lines for the two there. Notice also, this will really help, let me, I'll explain this a second. Let's go with the one right here. And again, we have two representing the ones. Notice that this creates a nice 90 degree angle. I was drawing the lines at all kinds of different angles. I was drawing them like straight up and down or maybe, and I just found that it's much, it's a lot neater if you do it to where all your lines create 90 degree corners uh, and you can see the groups much easier. Now, that was my other issue because we start counting groups. Let me explain and then I'll show you kind of how I solved that problem. So then, here is a group, here is a group in the middle, and then another group there. Now, with two different colors, it's very easy to see all the ones, all the reds are here in this group, all the, uh, the blue and the red lines, they form a group and then the last group which will be the hundreds in the final answer the two blues very easy to see but as you go with larger numbers it became more difficult to see these groups so I kinda came up with a formula I take the number of digits minus one so we have one two three four digits minus one so I will be looking for three groups okay so anyway then all we do is we count how many intersections we have in each point so we have one in each group one two three four so that's a four this is one two three four here and then we have one there we write these numbers down and that becomes 144 pretty easy okay let's go with one a little bit more difficult and I'll point out uh, maybe a little weakness of this whole technique and that is as follows let's go with 32 times 45 okay and you'll see one of the weaknesses uh, in just a moment so I start with one two three for the three spread it out one, two, for the two. I then move over to a four. I've got one, two, three, four. Oops, kind of messed up. Notice I've got nice 90 degree angles there. And then I've got five over here. One, two, three, four. Okay, I use my little formula, one, two, three, four digits minus one is three, so I'm going to have three groups. Again, this is really easy to see. we got one in the middle, two, and three. Now, I made a little mistake down here. It's kind of hard to see this line, and that's, again, that's kind of the problem with this. Okay, so I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now, I can't have a 10 in the final answer so I'm going to move one of the tens over to this middle I then start counting these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 plus the 1 is 24 okay then what I do is again I can't have the two I can't have a number like this so I move two over to this last grouping 
and so I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 plus 2 is 14. I write these numbers out. Let me move this up. So I have 1, 4, 4, 0. So it is 1,440 is equal to 32 times 45. Okay? Okay, let's get to the last one, and I chose it on purpose. Let me show you. It is 301 times 25. And I chose this for a couple reasons. One, it has a zero to show you what to do or how to handle the zero. So let's begin. I've got one, two, three lines for my hundreds. And then I'll go with a squiggly line for the zero and then a one for the ones. I next will move to the other side. I have one, two, and then I'm going to go with five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I know I have four groups because I have five digits. Five minus one is four. And this one is a little tricky because the groups do not just jump out at you. And I think that is one of the real weaknesses of this. I guess like anything else, the more you practice it, you will see the groups more easily. So here is one group. The second group is right here. The third group is here and the fourth group is there. Okay? So, one, two, three, four. And as you can tell, it, it gets a little messy, and I think that's one of the real weaknesses of this, why I, I don't know if it would be a real viable way to multiply, where I think it kind of straddles between a math trick and a real method of multiplication. So, let's count them up. We have one, two, three, Four, five cross sections of the lines. When we get to here, we have the squiggly line, which represents zero, so you do not count that. So now we have one, two. So I'm going to write a two for that group. This group here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Move down here can't count that because they are zero so it's 15 and notice that remember we can't have a uh, tens so I'm gonna move the one over to here and it is one two three four five six and six plus one equals seven therefore I combine all this for the answer and it becomes seven thousand 525. Okay. Guys, if you look below, I have a link with a little bit more information. Hopefully that was helpful on how to multiply using lines.